Hi guys, so today is another Primark haul. So yeah, I have another huge haul for you today and I was in town on Black Friday because I was picking up this guy which is right behind me here which is a new Apple 5K PC. So I was picking it up the other day there and uh, first of all I'm really 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 excited about this thing here. I cannot wait to start editing my videos and I'm actually waiting on a camera as well. Um, I'm going to get the Canon 80D camera as well so I'm waiting on that so I can really upgrade my quality. But anyway, so yeah, I was in town the other day there, so when I was picking up this guy, I thought I'll oh, may as well head into Primark while I'm there. I end up buying a stack of stuff in Primark as well. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really excited to show you everything that I did pick up. There are some really, really, really lovely bits in this haul. So yeah, if you want to see everything that I did pick up, then let's just get started. Okay, so I'm going to start off with some beauty bits first and I picked up a couple of um, false snails so you know every time I'm in Primark I always pick up um, some falsies when I'm in so I picked up a stack more here so last time I was in Primark I got a pair of these ones here which are the Insta Girl Filter Queen nails so that's what the ones look like there so I've been wearing these ones a lot recently and I really love the design of them. I think they're really, really gorgeous on. I love that they're nice kind of pointed stiletto nails as well. I just think they're really, really lovely. So I picked up two more packs of them, which are £2 each. Then I also picked up some French tip nails. So I have a round set, which look like that. And then I have a square set, which are just basically the exact same, but set they have like square tips so these are both a pound each and then I also picked up another set here which are um just basic kind of square nails but they're quite short and they're in the shade velvet touch and I actually have these ones on my nails today and I'm really really loving them and they're so easy to wear like I can do everything I want to do you know I can pick things up great and everything so yeah I'm really loving these they are nice and short but they just look really really nice your nails look really nice and manicured so yeah really loving them and they're also a pound i also picked up this little handheld mirror as well now this is part of their saint and sinner collection i think it's called you know they have a stack of um stuff you know with this sort of design in it and um, which looks really really nice but yeah i just picked up this mirror and it was um two pounds and i always love to use these when i'm doing my makeup and things like that so yeah it has like a, a magnified side and it has just an ordinary side and i don't know if you can tell but it actually has like a nice kind of velvet cushion um on the top of it there which i think is really nice so yeah i picked up that because these always come in really really handy for me and yeah Okay, so I also picked up this brush here, and I'm really loving the brushes in Primark right now. They are really, really pretty. Um, in my last haul, I did pick up a couple of other ones, which I do have here to show you. So, if you see my last haul, you know you know that I picked up these brushes here, which are stunning, and they're just the exact same design as this one. So, this was a new one. I hadn't seen this one last time I was in when I was picking them up, and this is their Perfecting Powder Brush. And it just looks absolutely gorgeous so I'll take out the packaging so you can see it better so this is what the brush looks like here so so pretty I love that it. it's nice and big and fluffy it's going to be great for applying powder whether it be translucent powder or um colored powder whatever so I think all over my face so really excited to use this I just love the design of it I think they're absolutely amazing the brush right now they, they, they feel really really nice like the quality of the bristles are actually so 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 nice they are nice and soft and yeah i'm just loving them so next thing i picked up is this room spray this is their almond and salted vanilla room spray so it's 100 ml and it smells absolutely delicious yeah it is gorgeous i'm going to spread some of this right now in my room it just really is gorgeous so yeah loving loving this and this was three pounds i think i can't remember but i think it was three pounds okay so i do have a few more beauty bits to share with you but i will come back to those in a minute because they are makeup palettes and I actually want to swatch a few of them on my arms but I don't want to get them over like all the other stuff I'm going to show you so I'll come back to them later. Okay so the next thing I picked up you're going to be like what the hell Jodie you just got loads of them in your last haul but I picked up some more socks so these ones I'm absolutely loving because they just look really kind of sporty they remind me of something you would get from um is it Victoria's Secret's pink range 
yeah they remind me of something like that and I just think they're amazing so they are like workout socks which are obviously ankle socks but they feel really really thick on like the sole area which I'm loving I love the design of them I just think they're so pretty I love this neon pink in it and yeah like I cannot wait to wear these like I'm so excited to wear socks that is just absolutely ridiculous but I am really excited to wear these and these were three pound so of course I did pick up another pack of them as well so I do have two packets of them there and surprise surprise I did pick up another pair of socks which are just kind of plain black socks and these ones are a pack of three okay these are just basically the same as those ones not as fancy as those ones so these ones were only two pounds these ones were three pounds and yeah just like plain black they do have like little trims of colour on the heels and that there but yeah they ones were two pounds and they actually feel a lot thinner than those other ones and then I did pick up another pair of the five um pack cotton rich socks which are one pounds eighty so I picked them up in my last haul as well but I absolutely love wearing these these ones are great for wearing with boots so yeah I picked up another pack of those okay guys so I also picked up these which are their memory foam slippers so yeah that's what they look like there. They're actually quite nice. They remind me of something you would get from Ugg. Is it Ugg? I think it's Ugg. Yes. So, yeah. Really, really pretty. The full fur them feels really nice and soft. And, yeah. Love the design of them. Okay, the next thing I picked up is this diffuser here. And this is their Jasmine and Honey diffuser, which is supposed to last up to eight weeks. So this was six pounds, and if I can get this out, I will show you the bottle and things. Um, so of course you get the little kind of wick things, like these wicks. I don't know what these are called, but these little kind of things that you pop into the the liquid. And then that's what the bottle looks like there. It's a really heavy glass bottle, um, which has like a little bee on it there, which is really really cute. I really love the bottle, I think it looks really kind of sophisticated, really classy, really elegant. It reminds me of something you would get from um, Joe Malone and things like that. So yeah, really loving this. I love the scent of this, it's really nice as well. And you just put these little sticks inside it. If you don't know like how to use a diffuser, which I'm sure you do, then what you do is you just pop these little sticks in it there and it just gives off a nice scent in the room. But yeah, really loving this. And this was £6. Okay, so I also picked up another diffuser. So that's the outer packaging right there, and this is what the diffuser bottle looks like. Again, it's another really pretty, pretty bottle. It looks really like more expensive than it actually is. And you get the little sticks here. So this is the number nine wild orchid and honey scent, and it says it's a floral and sweet aroma, and it also lasts up to eight weeks. So again, the bottle is really, really stunning. I do love it. And you get the little sticks here which are great so yeah that was supposed to be three pounds but it got reduced to a pound which is a bargain so guys i picked up another diffuser like i didn't realize how many diffusers i actually bought here but yeah i picked up this one here because this one is more kind of festive this is their frosted woodland which smells of pine and juniper berry again lasts up to eight weeks but yeah i really love the little bottle design of this i'll just give you a kind of up close um, look at that so that's what it looks like there okay guys so I also picked up some more oversized t-shirts for in the house because you guys know I like to be comfy in the house with a pair of leggings on so I like to wear like oversized um, t-shirts yeah I picked up another two I have a black one here and I have this kind of rusty kind of orangey burgundy red colour and these are just like short sleeve really comfy um, cotton t-shirts yeah love those and they're only two pounds each as well which is an absolute bargain so yeah okay so also picked up some more of their lipstick holders so if you can maybe see um these lipstick holders actually have like a pink mirrored detailing around them which i think is really pretty so i have two of these already in my alex drawers and they hold my lipsticks amazingly but yeah i wanted to pick up some more because i think they just look really really nice in the drawers so i picked up another four sets and these hold two four six these hold 12 lipsticks which is great so these are two pounds 50 each okay guys and then i picked up some more of the white wooden hangers that you see in my last haul 
important as well. Um, so I really wanted to get more of these because I absolutely love them. I think they're amazing. And the ones I have in my wardrobe right now are looking absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, I'm actually thinking about doing a wardrobe tour. I don't know like if you guys would be interested in that but I really love how my wardrobe is designed inside you know that like I have two like um walk-in um wardrobes sort of thing and inside one of the wardrobes I have two Alex drawers which kind of holds a lot of my makeup you know I have them um you know one on the left side one on the right side and in the middle I actually have clothes hung up and I actually have them on these hangers here and I just think it looks absolutely gorgeous I'll maybe insert a picture of it so you can see what I mean and above the rail where I have like my clothes on I have a shelf which actually has some perfumes in it and some lipsticks and things and I think it just looks really really nice so let me know if you would like to see a wardrobe tour or even like a makeup collection tour yeah, I would really love to do them, but let me know what you think in the comment section. Anyway, so I picked up these, which are £3, and I bought five packs of them. Okay, so let's go back to some of the beauty bits that I picked up. So, I picked up this eyeshadow palette here, which is called The Nudes. Now, this looks really, really, really pretty inside. Like, the shades inside are absolutely stunning. It reminds me of a naked, like, an Urban Decay naked palette. I'm not too sure, like, which one. I have a few of them but I can't actually think which one this reminds me of but yeah that's what it looks like there hang on I'll take this little plastic bit off it there's a better view of the shades and I love the rose gold packaging I think it's really really pretty and I swatched a couple of these um, shades in store they had one it was like a tester so I swatched a few of the shades and I was like oh my god that actually feels really nice and really pigmented so what I'll do is I'll swatch a few of these on the back of my hands or my wrist or something like that to show you them so I'll swatch this one which is a nice kind of pinky rosy shade um, so that's what that one looks like there I hope you can see that guys not too sure and then I'll swatch this one which is next to it which is a little bit deeper so that's that one at the top there I'll swatch this top shade here which is nice and kind of icy looking and that's what that one swatched like now I'll swatch one of the darker shades which is this black um, shade here these actually have names which I'm really impressed by um, because normally like cheaper palettes don't come with names so I'm really loving to have names it's going to be great for a makeup tutorial so yeah that's the black one swatch like my finger there really pigmented that's the black shade there like not super super black but it does look great especially for a cheaper palette what I'll do is I'll swatch another shade the one next to that there which is a nice um I don't know what colour you would describe this as but this one here I'll swatch this one like when you swatch them with your finger like you get a lot of um, pigmentation so I'll swatch this one on the back of my hand that's that one there so yeah really gorgeous shades I'm really impressed with the pigmentation as well I just hope it comes off um, as well on the eyes and things like that so very excited about that let me know if you would like to see a makeup tutorial using that okay so I picked up another palette that I'm absolutely loving the look of so it's this palette here which is called gold rush so that's what the shades look like inside and i'm not going to lie this packaging is really 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 cheap like the actual pan thing that the shades are sitting in is it's just very plasticky it's very cheap but anyway i picked this up because it looked very very like the jolie beauty bomb.com palette um, that's like a, a gorgeous glittery like really really glittery palette which I think is $25.99 but this really reminded me of it so I picked this up to see how this would perform the only difference is that this one is actually creams and I'm sure the Jolie palette is all kind of powder glitters but there is some gorgeous gorgeous shades in here that really remind me of that palette so yeah I'm going to swatch a couple of these so the pigment picks up quite nice but it is very very creamy very liquidy so i'll swatch this on my hand there mm, not the best like it like there's a lot of sparse areas and that when i swatched that there like yeah it's not coming off like super opaque or anything like that and um, so let's try another shade i'll try this gorgeous kind of purpley shade there mm not too bad but that's what it looks like there 
Um, I think these would be great with, you know, like a, a coloured shadow underneath. So if you're going to use like a purple um, one, maybe use a purple shadow underneath or even a black shadow. Um, so it really stands out. Now I'll swatch this shade here, which is a nice kind of lime greeny um, shade. So pigmentation doesn't come off that well with that shade. Um, I think because these are actually creams, like if these were maybe powders, I think the glitter would stand out a lot better, like it would come off more opaque, um, opaque. but that is the shade, the lime greeny shade at the top there. So yeah, not the best, but let me know if you would like to see a tutorial using that palette. Like, it will be interesting to see how they actually wear on the eyes. I'm going to swatch a few of the non-glitter ones to see how they um, come off. Okay, so that actually looks quite nice. That's that shade at the top there. That one is actually pretty nice. Like that really is really nice. Um, so let me try another one. Try the deep reddish colour. Okay, so that one's not too bad as well. Some of the shades are not the greatest in the palette, but um, I'm looking forward to seeing how they actually go on the eyes. I think it'll be really interesting to see how the glitters wear. But yeah, that one was £4 at palette as well. So yeah guys, that is it for my Primark haul. I really hope you liked and enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below tell me your favourite thing from my haul. And also let me know if you would like to see a tutorial on the eyeshadow palettes as well. And um, so yeah. Thank you so much for watching guys, give the video a big thumbs up if you really did like and enjoy it. Hit the subscribe if you are brand new to my channel and I will speak to you very very soon in my next video. Bye! Mwah.